Hey guys, it's Monica. It is my turn for Be Free Friday. If you have not seen Sarah's, she kicked us off last week. She did an awesome job, so make sure that you go back and check that one out. Um, this week, it's my turn, and I was trying to figure out what I could do that would sound as holy and spiritual and righteous as Sarah's. Um, I'm constantly just trying to live up to her standard. <laughs> just kidding, Sarah. I know, but really it's true. Um, and uh, as I was praying about it with God, he just kind of spoke to my heart. And he said, why don't you start with where you're at and what you're going through, uh, which is what he always comes back to with me. And here's where I'm at this summer. Uh, quiet time and being still and prayer time uh, kind of is non-existent in the summer for me. Uh, I shouldn't admit that, but it is the absolute truth. It is just hard to carve it out in between activities and kids and working and doing stuff for the house. <laughs> I can't even say that seriously with a straight face. Um, but truly, my quiet time does suffer. When During the school year, I'm able to get up really early before the kids and drink coffee and um, have that quiet time and my prayer time. Um, but in the summer, it's just a lot harder. I'm staying up too late. I'm watching a lot of TV. I'm reading a ton of books, and I just like to sleep in. Um, so... As I was praying with God and trying to figure out how I could fix this situation, I had this idea that I've been doing and it's been working pretty well that I thought I would share with you and challenge you with. So here goes. After you wake up in the morning, before you leave your room, take five to ten minutes to pray and to be still before you step out of your bedroom. And here's what it's done for me. Uh, my kids are to that age where they re they know if I'm still asleep in the morning before they are, before they get up. Anyway, um, they're quiet. They stay quiet. They're, my daughter's old enough to fix them something to eat if they're absolutely starving, and they don't bother me. So in the morning, I take that time and I just pray. I just spend five to ten minutes. It's not super long. It's not long enough, but at least it's something. And I pray and I seek God and I just take a few minutes to be still before I leave my room because once I get out of the room it's just kind of non-stop the rest of the day so that's my challenge to you guys this week uh, wake up I do recommend going to the bathroom first and I do recommend not laying down in bed because uh, I might have one time fallen back asleep it's really easy to do so sit up in bed get on your knees get in a chair whatever is easier for you or you feel comfortable doing but take that five or ten minutes for yourself, for you and for God, before your feet leave your bedroom, before everything else clamors for your attention, before you get on your phone and check Facebook or Instagram or whatever, before you're in work mode or house mode or whatever. Take those five to ten minutes. So that's my challenge. I would love to hear if you're doing this and if it works and uh, kind of just if it's doing anything for you, I'd love to hear it. You guys have a great weekend and a great week, and Amber will be back uh, next week to share her Be Free Friday. Love you. Bye.